Hey everybody, it's InnoVision, and it's been a little while since we checked in on our NBA 2K25 Legion Go peeps. Lenovo recently released an updated GPU driver that allows us to use AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 on our beloved handheld console, and this is awesome. This is a nice way to get improved frame rate. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make the game look like this on your Lenovo Legion Go. And because of this update, we received a lot of questions and comments about are there better settings now today with this new driver that we can provide for NBA 2K25 on the Legion Go. In today's video, we're going to explore two types of settings. And in order to achieve this, we're going to also provide a workaround to enable medium texture quality detail. Because unfortunately, there's a game breaking bug that doesn't let you set the texture detail. So we'll be providing two class of settings here. The first setting is more geared towards performance. We're trying to balance between visual quality while keeping the frame rate up, but also minimize power consumption. So you can think of this as kind of some pretty decent settings to use while you're on battery. And then the second set of settings that we'll provide are pure eye candy. This requires you to be plugged in but you're still gonna hit a solid 60 frames per second. With the eye candy settings, in many cases, you can hit well above 60 frames a second. And you can think of it as the most beautiful, smooth gameplay we can get. Now in both cases, no matter which set of these settings you choose to use, we're gonna to wanna to enable six gigs of video RAM. And this can be done in the Legion Go BIOS, and we're gonna show you how to do that here in just a little bit. But unfortunately, the game has been riddled with many bugs, and one of the bugs is one that does not allow you to set medium texture level details. So we're gonna provide a workaround how to force the game to use medium texture details. We can actually force it to use any texture quality we want, but we're gonna focus on medium here today. I've even heard some people having to completely reinstall Windows to work around the issue of not being able to set texture level details here. So this workaround is beautiful. Another thing I wanna call out here before we get started is we're gonna have two different frame counters on the screen at any given time. Anytime you see the frame counter that's in the top right corner, that's the frame counter that's coming from Steam when I'm running the game. The frame counter that's in the top left corner, that's coming from Legion Space. And the significance here is that the one that comes from Steam is reporting the real frames per second that we're getting when rendering the game. The frame counter from Legion Space is showing us the user perceived frames per second. And this is important here when we run AMD Fluid Motion frames, in between real frames, we're approximating an artificial frame to help the game run smoother. Don't be too caught up on the real frame rate here, especially for a game like this, because a game like this doesn't require low latency interaction like a first person shooter would. And so even if you're running the game at let's say like 40 frames per second, but the perceived frames per second is like 80, it's still a very smooth and beautiful experience. The game is really built around the animations and the facial expressions of the players not so much like low latency, you know, dodging people while they're shooting at you like you would be in a first person shooter. And the last thing I'd like to call out before we get started is we're focusing on gameplay here in the basketball courts. This game brings my beefy gaming rig down to its knees when I walk into multiplayer areas. I have an RTX 4080 graphics card with I think like 24 core CPU and I stutter down to like 30 or 40 frames per second when I enter multiplayer parts in the game. The game is very poorly optimized. And so in order to set up an experiment where I can do like A-B comparisons to see if the settings that I'm creating actually benefit us, I'm focusing on gameplay in the courts. And these settings will scale out to different areas of the game, but your mileage may vary based on what's going on online and things like that. And so I really needed a clean test bed to come up with these settings. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is actually boot into our BIOS and make sure we enable at least six gigs of VRAM. And so to boot into the BIOS, we're gonna hold the volume up key and then push the power button. And then leave your finger on the volume up key until we're greeted with the BIOS boot screen. So once you see this screen, go ahead and select BIOS setup and from there we're going to click this more settings option down at the bottom right and then we're going to go under the configuration tab and then scroll down until we see UMA frame buffer size and so by default this is set to auto 
we're gonna wanna pick six gigs. And so this adjusts our video RAM size. Also another couple settings that might be worthwhile while we're here is go ahead and make sure that this is set to 7,500 mega transfers per second. Make sure that we have all eight cores enabled and make sure that we have SMT enabled. Once you have all these settings configured, we're gonna click exit and then exit saving changes. All right, so for this step, I highly recommend using a mouse and keyboard. If you can get one, I highly recommend the Legion Go dock. I love the Legion Go dock. You can just hook up your mouse and keyboard straight up to the dock and you're set. So what we're gonna do is use a mouse and keyboard and we're gonna navigate to a directory to find a configuration file to edit in the game. And this configuration file will force the game to use whatever texture quality detail you wanna use. I'm just clicking on my PC, but you can actually click on Explorer down here or wherever you have it. And so we're gonna type percent A P P D A T A percent. And so this is a macro that tells Windows, hey, I want you to take me to my user's app data folder. And so I'll actually post the text of what that looks like um, also in the video description. So you can just copy and paste it. And so you'll hit enter. And once you're there, you're gonna be in a folder called roaming. We want to go up a folder. So click up into app data. And if you don't have the ability to click on it in the toolbar here, you can just click this up arrow over here on the left. So click up, and then we're going to go into this folder called local. So once we're in local, look for a folder called 2K Sports. Usually the folders are sorted in alphabetical order. So click into 2K Sports, and then I only have this one 2K game installed currently, and so I'm going to click into NBA 2K25. Once you're in there, there are two files. We want this video settings.cfg. Stands for video settings configuration. And you'll click on it, and it's going to ask you, in most cases, what app do you want to open it with. I want to use Notepad, but you can use any text editor you want. So let's just go ahead and take Notepad, and I'm going to use it for just once. Because other programs might install files called .cfg that aren't necessarily text files. But that's a whole different problem. So once it's open here, we're gonna look for a string called texture load. There it is, right there, texture load. So I'm actually on my gaming computer right now, and so texture load zero is the highest quality texture. On your Legion Go, this is actually gonna be two, in most cases. Unless you're already able to set the texture quality, then you don't even need to do this step. But if you see two right there, go ahead and change it to a one which forces it into medium mode, and then save it. If you have a keyboard, you can just hit Control S to save, and then you just exit, and once you exit, you can close all your windows, and then you can start Steam back up and start the game back up. So before we get started, we wanna enable our in-game overlay. So click on the cog icon here, and then go into preferences, and then make sure this in-game overlay option's enabled. And so this is our heads up display that shows us if Radeon super resolution is enabled or when fluid motion frames are enabled or any other features related to AMD graphics card configuration. All right, so we got something a little special planned for our halftime show. We've got this NBA Ballers blind bag minifigure. Let's see what we got. They're saying that there's 38 in the whole collection. And so I've been saving this for a special occasion. And so here we have it. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, that must be like a little stand. We've got a little uh, collector's guide here. So it's got all the different minifigs that they make. All right. It comes with a little piece of court, probably a little ball. Oh, that is too cute. It's got a little basketball with it. All right, so I'm not gonna look at the rest of the stuff because I don't wanna spoil who we got. And it comes with a little mini card. So we got Chris Paul from Golden State. He 
comes with a little mini card and a little table to stand on. All right, well, there you have it. Back to our regular scheduled program. So now we're gonna wanna go ahead and open the AMD software. So you'll go under gaming and then find NBA 2K25. So for our performance settings, we're gonna wanna use integer scaling. And so what this means is that each frame of the game will be rendered one fourth the size of the display. And so to enable integer scaling, we just click on the right hand side here. We have integer scaling. Go ahead and make sure that's enabled. And then make sure we're using full panel scaling. The other really important step here is we want to make sure this AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 is enabled. Sometimes it's toggled off by default. So once that's all set, we'll go ahead and just click Launch Game. I just want to show you. Right now, I'm using the auto TDP settings. So we have our mode set to performance, but here the thermal mode is set to balanced. And so this means that it's gonna to try to hover around 15 watts TDP. And so that means that the device will generally run cooler, but at the expense of worse performance. So we'll go ahead and launch the game. Notice here, Fluid motion frames was enabled. So that's great, that's exactly what we want. All right, so we're gonna go under features and then under video settings. We're gonna to wanna to pick the 1280 by 800 option here for our resolution. We're gonna to wanna to turn off resolution scaling. We don't want it because it's gonna make our image look blurry and we don't need it because we're already decimating the image. We're making it four times smaller than what the full size of the panel is. So we don't need to reduce our uh, image quality any further. We already reduced it by 4x. So we want 1280 by 800 and no resolution scaling. And then if we go under texture detail here, notice that our medium texture quality is grayed out, but it's selected anyways. That's because we hard coded it in our config file we overrided the game settings. For some reason, there's a bug in this game. Even if you enable six gigs of VRAM, you don't get the option to pick, you know, you know, even if we enabled eight gigs of VRAM, we should be able to select the high option, but we can't select anything besides the low option because of a bug in this game. And so by editing the config file, we're overriding this UI right here, or this user interface. And so, Overall quality, we're still going to leave it at Steam Deck, but when we pick this medium texture resolution, that's what's going to allow the characters to look less blurry. That's also going to allow the court, the lines in the basketball court to look less blurry. And so you can try playing with this option here. Um, you know, we have enough overhead to allow the medium option. I didn't see a need for it. And I felt like the game performed better when we just leave the Steam Deck preset because this Steam Deck preset affects other things like the number of people in the audience, the resolution of the models of the characters in the audience, so on and so forth. So I really want up close and personal while we're playing our game for all the characters and animations to look as nice as possible. And so I don't really mind having this Steam Deck preset. So once these settings are uh, enabled, we're ready to go ahead and let's go ahead and save. All right, so I'm just gonna make them both CPUs just so we can watch it play out. So one thing I want you to notice here, this is our real frame rate on the right top right. This is what we see from Steam. And then on the left, this is our frame rate once we have the, a the AMD fluid motion frames enabled. And so typically what you'll see is the user perceived frames per second is about double what the real rendering frames per second is. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David... At the line for two, Luka Doncic.
for our eye candy settings, we're going to want to launch AMD software again. We're going to go under the gaming tab. Scroll down to NBA 2K25. And so here we're going to do things a little bit different. And this is so we can get the kind of the best image quality. But we're going to also want to change our TDP settings. And so here we're balancing be between the best image quality at the loss of you know more frames per second. But we'll still hit close to 60 frames a second in the end here. And in fact, this game actually runs quite well even at 45 frames a second. So we're going to go into our TB TDP settings. Here we're going to pick performance. Now this is going to generate more heat and require more power to run. And so now for our gaming experience, we're going to want to pick Hyper RX, which is going to disable our integer scaling over here. And we're going to want to make sure that AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 is enabled. Then we can go ahead and launch game. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, so notice we didn't see uh, upscaling enabled yet so we're gonna have to go ahead and go into features here and we're gonna want to select video settings and we want to use the 1900 by 1200 option and we're gonna use full screen windowed again and no resolution scaling here and we're still gonna be rolling with the medium uh, texture detail and the steam deck preset so that all looks good so again 1900 by 1200 no resolution scaling, medium texture detail, Steam Deck preset. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm going to exit the game and come right back in. All right, and there we have all of our settings enabled. We've got fluid motion frames and Radeon super resolution enabled. And so we're just going to go into quick play so we can just see an example of this. And so on the right hand side here, this is the real frames per second. And then on the left hand side, this is with the frame generation enabled. So typically you'll see what we get on the left hand side is about double of what the real frames per second are. And that's okay for a game like this. For a first person shooter, a game that requires really low latency, it might affect your gameplay here. But look, we're staying well above 60 frames a second. The characters, the models look beautiful. The lines in the court are very nice and defined. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. You wanted our help, and now we need your help. Do us a solid. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe. That way we can keep making more videos like this. You won't want to miss what we've got coming down the pipeline. Until next time, everybody stay healthy, stay well. See you soon.